Do you know what happened to this film? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's beautiful. Congratulations on this film. Thank you. Um, I really enjoyed it. Very, very emotional. Um, different side of war. Um, where did this idea come from from you? Well, actually, in 2002, I was approached by uh, Anthony Ningela, Sidney Pollack company, and uh, they gave me this book and asked me if I would do it. And at that time, I just finished No Man's Land. I loved the material, I loved the book. It, it was kind of telling everything I would think of war. And, uh, but at the time, I didn't feel like directing, so I said I would write the screenplay. So that's how it started. And then it took seven years. Yeah, it wasn't the most optimistic of character journeys. Yeah, he was he was somebody that was um, incredibly damaged and traumatized. I think by the years that he spent and and the the events that he had borne witness mm -hmm. to, and then what was probably about a ten year career as a war photographer. Um, I think like many of the things in life, it had caught up to him to a stage that he didn't even realize the stuff that he was keeping inside and how he was somebody that believed that he could compartmentalize his life between what he experienced in the field and then living a different life at home at peace but it's not always the way and it's very hard to keep the lines separate and, and yeah he was, he was a tough enough journey I suppose. Was it hard to cut it off at the end of the day? Uh, it was tiring all of it I mean there wasn't really I enjoyed the stuff that I did with Jamie Sivis I mean we had some nice stuff to do and there was a camaraderie there uh, between myself and Jamie and also between the characters as represented obviously in the film and outside of that it was all pretty depressing stuff yeah. Um, absolutely uh, but you guys had such a great rapport together and you know what was it like working with him? With Jamie? Yeah. Uh, he's great easy wonderful actor really good man yeah really cool. And it's based on a book so have you guys all read the book uh, to sort of or do you feel that you know you want to stay away from that? I dipped into it I read it I read it when I met Dennis first before, it took Dennis about a week mm -hmm. to get me the script. Uh, postage system right there, Mr. <laughs> tells you. But, um, but I, had, I had gotten the book at that stage and dipped into it in bits and pieces and then referred to it back and forth, but, but most of the time the, the script was the reference point for it. And Dennis, for you, this is kind of hits a bit close to home. So unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, unfortunately, Franco, for you, uh, playing the doctor in this, I, I understand that you learned English for this. Yes. In four months? I take one afternoon to uh, to fix up my English. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I, I, I learned English uh, just for that role, and now I forget all. All of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's okay. Dan, Danis was so encouraged to, to, to give me opportunity, to, courageous. We have subtitles in the film, so you know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason. And I, and I hope I um, filled his... Um, Expectations. Wow. And, and Colin, I want to <laughs> mention uh, Christopher Lee. Um, and your yeah. scenes with him, were, I mean, you worked with so many great people, but your scenes were, with him are so incredible. What was it like working with him? Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, wonderful. I mean, I, I grew up watching his horror horrors and, and Dracula. Um, amazing man. Just big man. A big a presence. Massive mountain of a man. It's like six foot four and a head like a fucking planet. Um, and that voice, the depth of that voice. and. Oh, he's just wonderful to spend time with. Has so many stories, you know. Has such a such an incredible history, both regarding the film world and outside of that. And was a paratrooper, and I mean, he goes way, way back. Amazing. I mean, when I, I really did have that reaction when Dana said he was in the film, I was like, he's still fucking alive. Yeah. I knew he was in Lord of the Rings, and and he had done work on Star Wars, but uh, he had reams of dialogue. He had pages of stuff. Like he he has the most dialogue in the film by a mile. Your scenes with him were, you know, so well done. He was just great fun to play with, yeah, he was great fun to play play against. Um, uh, and just lastly, we're doing a little feature about the environment and you know, how do you stay green and Oh I'm very bad. Are you? Oh I've got footprints like a Yeti. Okay. That's I mean, not too good. Yeah, yeah. Do you recycle? Yes. I do recycle. I have specific bins in my kitchen for okay. various okay, recycling needs. Right? Just a little bit. It's better okay. than nothing. <laughs> Congratulations guys. Thanks Cheers. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Great movie.